Append versus append values. Here's the question that came in. I know that we can do a direct load with the append hint, but I also saw the append values hint. What is the benefit of that? And append values is really designed for PL SQL, and let's jump straight into a demo to have a look at how it works. So I'm going to create a table called T. It's the same structure as DBA objects, but where one equals zero means it's starting off as empty. Then I'm going to create another copy called another table called T1, and it's 20 copies of DBA objects. So I think this database has about 80, 90,000. So what have we got? Maybe 800,000 rows, somewhere in that vicinity, maybe a million rows, give or take. Just lots of rows. Oh, and I even look, what do we got? 1.7 million rows. There we go. Let's now using PL SQL, using the bulk binding facility, see how long it would take to copy those 1.7 million rows into that empty table called TI first created. And we see it took about five seconds. Real easy way of doing benchmarking is just have a couple of timestamp columns. So effectively start the timestamp at the end, timestamp at the finish, and simply do one minus the other, and you get an interval as a data type, which tells you the number of seconds. So this is just using bulk collect and bulk bind to basically, you know, rather than doing 1.7 million insert statements, just do a single insert statement to see how fast we can smash rows in. Now, I want to stress, we wouldn't normally do it like this because 1.7 million rows is a big giant heap of PGA. This is just basically looking at the edge case of how fast can we do an insert in PL SQL compared to what happens now when we put the append values hint in. Because what append values does is mimics the append hint, which is a direct load operation, building blocks rather than rows and slamming those blocks in in order to gain some efficiencies. So five seconds for just a standard insert. And let's now repeat that exact same demo, empty table, and now basically do append values. So this is now doing the more direct load insert, which we normally see significant performance benefits on. So it's up and running. Remember the first one was five seconds. And here we got 4.7 seconds. Wow, we gained 0.3 of a second. So what's that? Maybe, I don't know, what's that? Maybe 5%, 5% benefit. And what's the price? Well, when you do a direct load insert, whether it's a pen values or a pen, you've locked the entire table. So there's that issue, which generally kills concurrency. Have I really gained anything? I'm not entirely convinced, but maybe, you know, this is just a special case. So let's proceed onwards. And we're going to work in some various permutations here. So once again, drop table called T, which is our target, make it empty, and let's try something different. What about a stock standard insert select? That takes three seconds. So already you can see that concept, which has always been true, is if you can do something in SQL, as opposed to doing it in PIL SQL, you're generally going to get some benefit. So in reality, doing it along those lines is going to be better. Let me truncate that table now and use insert append and see what we get there. And same thing we get on an empty table we get around about just this small benefit and we've you know had that price of locking the entire table so maybe it's not really a problem with the append values hint maybe this is a special case where if i'm just doing a simple insert into an empty table which has no rows in it and no indexes etc then maybe insert and insert append actually aren't that much different let's keep exploring what about if the table's no logging? Because anyone that's done data warehouses knows that one of our recommendations is if you've got some big tables, tables to load, then we want no indexes, no logging, and then your direct load insert. Maybe this is where append values is going to sort of um, come into its own. So I'll trunk up my table called T, it's no logging. Let's do an insert append. And we can see that this is probably a more realistic example. If I had a standard insert, which had with uh, logging, because inserts are logged always, I get three seconds. If I had no logging insert append, I get 1.9 seconds. So that's what, 30, 40% faster. There is genuine benefit in using insert append in these particular scenarios. Obviously, that has implications in terms of data guard and standby, etc. But once again, if we're just looking for flat out loading performance, there is a genuine benefit to insert append. So maybe this is what we have to do with insert append values as well. So back to our normal sort of insert thing. The table is now logging, truncate it. Once again, we do this comparison with our normal insert, which is going to be about five seconds again, 4.3 this time. Right. Let's make it no logging and use append values because in theory, it should be replicate the benefits of append. So this time we're using a no logging table append values and see what happens. And no we don't really see much benefit of append values there either. 
which is odd because the uh, SQL equivalent did see significant benefit, whereas this one, we didn't really see much benefit. Let's try something different again, okay? Maybe it's not about loading into empty tables because another benefit of direct load is it defers things like index maintenance and it always inserts after the high watermark. So if you have a table which has, I maybe should keep this going. Yep, let me create this table as empty and then put some indexes on. Yeah, I should have this ready. There we go. So one of the benefits of direct load insert is it inserts at the end of the high watermark and also it defers index maintenance. It basically collects batches of rows through index maintenance in batches. So maybe those previous examples with the pen values where the table had no indexes are selling a pen value short. Maybe once we get indexes involved, we're going to start seeing some benefits over a normal insert. Once again, this time I'm just going to look at 800,000 rows because I've now got three indexes worth of maintenance to do. So I use the normal insert and we'll see how long it takes. This might take a little longer because we've got three indexes to maintain while we're doing the insert as well. That one took 15 seconds. Now, when we use append values, we'll have deferred index maintenance. So let's give append values a go for the exact same thing and see if we get better than 15 seconds. And 10 seconds. So here's perhaps one example, right, where we're, maybe we're going to start seeing some benefits here. Okay, you know, what's this, about 30% faster because we had that deferred index maintenance. One last example I will throw there is, once again, a copy of T1. We'll throw some indexes on. And what we'll do this time is we will, I think, yep, yeah, delete every second row. Now, the reason I threw this example in there, another thing that append shouldn't have to worry about is finding blocks that are on the free list because it simply adds rows to the end. It doesn't care that there are blocks inside the database that are candidates for you know filling up again because they got some free space in them. So this is another example where maybe append values should give us some benefit. So here's our stock standard insert now. So once again, three indexes and we're filling in gaps of free space as well. Okay, nine seconds and let's throw in our append values. 12 seconds, almost exclusively, almost in almost all cases, I very rarely see anything that really justifies the use of append values, to be honest. Um, I know that's a strange result and you probably were thinking, oh, he's gonna show us these you know, wonderful results here. I've very rarely seen any benefit. And these all should be almost like best case scenarios because I'm using massive amounts of PL SQL arrays. I'm not grabbing a hundred rows and going again, hundred rows going again. I'm getting huge, big hundreds of thousands of rows and doing them all in one big hit. So the append values benefit should be significant. I suppose what I'm saying is if you have any examples, please ping me on Twitter, let me know. But so far I'm unconvinced that the cost of having to lock the table for what I've yet to see as any real tangible performance benefits, I'm not convinced. My, my rule of thumb, I won't say this is a cast iron recommendation because we never say that here at Oracle, but my idea is at the moment is I would not use append values, simply that. I would be using SQL wherever possible. If I am doing some bulk operation that requires PL SQL, I'm gonna use all the normal practices, bulk collect to get the data in, bulk bind to get the data out, but other than that, I really can't see much benefit from append values, and I just don't think it outweighs the, uh, the cost of, of locking the entire object.